Okay, it's time to wrap up this review of what is almost certainly a prototype combination muzzle device and solvent trap adapter from the folks at Infinite Product Solutions. What have we learned from all of this use and testing? Well, we know that it helps to control muzzle rise and it lets you attach an oil filter to help clean your barrel. Personally, I like it. My final thoughts are coming up next on Mostly 22 LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. If you've watched Alton Brown on the TV show Good Eats, you know he's a big fan of multi-purpose tools. In a previous video of mine, I took a 12-gauge barrel mop and I used it to clean a suppressor. In this case, Infinite Product Solutions has created a muzzle brake that pulls double duty as a solvent trap adapter. And I just, I like that. Go check out the previous six... <laughs> the previous six parts of this video review to see how much I like this device. As a muzzle brake, eh, the video test for 22LR convinced me that it's, it's kind of overkill if you shoot rimfire, at least for guns with 10-inch barrels and longer. Uh, the Jack Ammo channel uses one on a Ruger 2245, so it's a real-world possibility for pistols. But I do think very few people in the world will want to tune their rimfire barrel harmonics. And of those very few people in the world, I'm not one of them. I admit it. The video test for NATO 556 was interesting, but even the person who loaned me the M4 wasn't sure there was enough muzzle rise for a break to be effective, and that's the key word here, effective, for home defense, short distance hunting, and so on. But if you hunt, say, prairie dogs at longer distances, whether it's CCI Stingers or NATO 556 or 22250, I'd encourage you to think about this product. I really would. Uh, it could be a viable option as a muzzle brake and possibly as a barrel tuner and certainly as a solvent trap adapter. I mean, that's a trifecta right there. <laughs> And then there's the plus. You don't have to remove the muzzle brake when you want to clean the barrel with an oil filter. Regardless if you own a bolt action or a semi-auto, I think you're going to love putting a solvent trap on the end of your barrel. You'll be able to use a foaming bore cleaner indoors without spilling it out of the muzzle onto your garage floor or your basement floor or whatever. And as you saw in part two, it definitely traps solvents. Your indoors will stay clean while you're cleaning your gun. Now, lots of YouTube channels get to review stuff they didn't buy out of their own pocket, yet very few of them answer a vital question. Would I buy this device? Infinite Product Solutions knows I'm a good customer of theirs, and they sent this to me for review. Would I buy this device? Uh, in a single word, not yet. <laughs> I have, I think, nine guns that could take it, but none of them needs a muzzle brake. And for those nine guns, I already have a solvent trap adapter that I bought from Infinite Product Solutions. For the same reason that I bought one suppressor for those nine guns, when it's time to clean, I have one solvent trap adapter for those nine guns. But remember, I said not yet. I say it because of a conversation I had with Dr. Fred, the man who loaned me the M4 in part four of this video review. Dr. Fred and I talked about this device after the review, and we both had a keen interest in seeing it for 7.62 guns. Imagine this on an AK-47, or on an AR-10, or maybe even a 300 blackout. Believe me, if and when Infinite Product Solutions comes out with that combo muzzle brake and solvent trap adapter, hey, don't be surprised if I buy one outright just to replace the flash hider on my DPM SLR 308. This product right here, we can see on the videos that it does vent gases correctly as a muzzle brake. So I have every faith that it's doing the job. Personally, I just don't see a need for it on any of my guns threaded in one half by 28 but that could change if it's threaded 14 by 1 for an AK-47 or 5 eighths by 24 for an AR-10. 
Okay, so let's get back on track. To reiterate what I said in an earlier video, this prototype lacks two things. First, it lacks a thread protector where the oil filter spins on. Infinite Product Solutions has already said they're going to address that for the production model. That's a, a serious issue. You need a thread protector for this when you're out in the woods. Second, it lacks a jam nut so you can align it on the muzzle. That's what these are, jam nuts. Again, Infinite Product Solutions already knows my thoughts on this, and they agree. If they include them as part of the purchase for the production models, that's great. But if they sell them as add-ons, whether it's the jam nut or the, uh, uh, the uh, thread protector here, I'd like to see their website recommend adding them to the shopping cart. Because you just know some folks won't immediately realize the significance for them when they're buying this device. And let me reiterate this. The man who loaned me the M4 in part four, uh, Dr. Fred and I, we really hope that Infinite Product Solutions will prototype this combo device in 5 8 by 24 for people who shoot NATO 762 and uh, 308 Winchester and 300 Blackout. Uh, also, if you're gonna be doing it in 5 8 by 24, uh, you might as well be doing it in 14 by one for the AK-47s and, uh, and their, uh, uh, their similar brands. Uh, and as a memo to Infinite Product Solutions, I want you to click this link to understand why muzzle brakes are so important for 7.62 guns. And hey, I own an AR-10, and I own an AAC rifle. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Uh, I dream of prototypes. <laughs> so what have we learned in this <laughs> seven-part series, uh, a review of this item? Well, we've learned that this uh, combination muzzle brake and solvent trap adapter from Infinite Product Solutions really does a pretty good job. Uh, I like it because it solves two different problems at the same time. Uh, number one, it is a muzzle brake, so you can use it as that. And number two, you don't have to remove it from your barrel when you want to use a solvent trap adapter, like an oil filter. You can just leave this attached and just spin this on and clean your barrel anytime you want. Uh, now, again, this is a prototype. I'm, I mean, I'm convinced that it's a prototype. They keep talking about it as such. Uh, but uh, as a prototype, there's a couple of issues that I have with it, nothing major, and Infinite Product Solutions has already told me that they are going to address those in the production models. That's why I think that this is a prototype. They keep talking about the production models. But uh, if this meets your needs, I, I really strongly recommend that you go ahead and take a look at this, and, and I strongly recommend that you, that you use this for your needs. Again, would I buy it? Mm, not yet. I'm waiting for a 308 model. I hope that Infinite Product Solutions will let me keep this a, a little bit while longer. I've got a couple of things that I would like to do with this device, uh, some more tests that I would like to perform. I'll contact Infinite Product Solutions and see how much longer I can hold on to it. Uh, it's just a great prototype. If it, if it is a prototype there, Infinite Product Solutions, uh, but I, I really do like it. Make sure that you get a jam nut for it so that you can control uh, and make sure that your, um, that your muzzle brake sits properly. Uh, that it's angled uh, perpendicular to the bore and perpendicular to the rise. Uh, and make sure that you get the um, adapter or the um, thread protector on here that will help you uh, protect these threads while you're out hunting on a regular basis. Uh, <clears throat> beyond that, it's a, it's a really fantastic device, and uh, I think you should give it a try. I'm, uh, and one more thing. Remember, I have said this multiple times. I just want to keep saying this. Infinite Product Solutions sent this to me unbidden. Uh, they have no control over the editorial content. They have no control over the video production. They sent this to me, trusting that I, as a good customer, would come up with a good review. And I really do think it's a good product. It's a great prototype. I can't wait to see the final product. And Dr. Fred and I just can't wait to see this in, in a 308 762 model. I'm Rob Rosenberger for mostly 22 lr And remember, 22 lr is real ammunition. Treat it as such.